Nearly 18 years ago, Susan Verstegen, a woman in the prime of her life, was killed at the hands of a stranger. A 15-year-old boy suddenly lost his mom, a mother and father lost their daughter, and a family lost a beloved sister. Today, the man who took her life paid the ultimate price for his actions with his own life, and, and now I pray for his soul. Although I support the death penalty, there is no joy in this for me, nor should there be for anyone listening. I'm now 33 years old with a wonderful wife and two young children. And today's execution doesn't change the fact that my kids will never hear the sweet laugh or feel the tender embrace of their grandmother, who would have been crazy for them, or that every holiday or family get-together will forever be missing something. My mom was a wonderful, kind, loving, exuberant woman, and she will forever be missed. Now I pray that Rodrigo Hernandez has come to know Jesus and has surrendered his life to him, for no sin is too great for Christ's sacrifice. And I will also pray for his family, and for comfort in the pain that they are surely feeling. Now I'm grateful uh, that this long and trying time has come to a conclusion. I'm thankful for the efforts of the San Antonio Police and the DA's office and the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. Uh, I'm forever indebted to my wife, family, and friends for all of their love and support, and I'm comforted in the knowing that this is all in, in Jesus' hands. Thank you.